Now you got handed a big present right at the beginning of this question. You got handed a, well, what was the result? Do you remember what it was? Uh, root of n plus one hmm. minus root n is greater than one on two root. So half and on the bottom root n plus one. Yep, okay, good. So you have a look at this carefully. Look carefully. The first thing obviously is, well, I have a particular value of n in mind. So if I just write this all with k's, that will get it a little bit closer to what I'm dealing with, like so. Now look closely at that, and look closely at what I've got over there. How is it different? Because it's not exactly what I want, is it? Yeah, so you can see here I've got root k minus root k plus 1. I have it in the wrong order. Actually, it's in exactly the order I want. In order to turn that into this, I'm going to have to multiply both sides by minus one, okay? So the first thing that we'll do is it will switch the order of these two. The second thing it will do is we'll obviously slap a minus sign on there. And then the third and last thing it will do is it will change the direction of the inequality. Okay, is that all right? So now I can say, all right, have a look at this. This thing over here, uh, root k plus, ah, oh, sorry, I'll put these things together. Root k plus 1 plus 1 k plus 1. I'll just rearrange that, okay? This thing, according to part A, I'm going to do this same thing again, and I'm going to do it with red and green again, okay? This is telling me that red is less than green. See that? So therefore, if you like, you can do this a couple ways. You can just go directly to the next line, or if you want, you can put it over here, this thing must be less than, I'm going to replace it now, minus 1 over 2 k plus 1 plus 1 on k plus 1. Okay? Do you see what I did? Right? Again, you've got this guy, I have the green in the wrong spot, is less than this guy. Yep, sorry, that's better. Okay? So that's from part A. I should probably write that because that's where it came from from part A, okay? So this is this weird thing that's happening with inequalities, right? You can just bring inequalities in. They're not equal to each other. That's what inequality means. But they're bigger and smaller than each other in an order I could take advantage of, okay? Right, so if I've got this thing smaller than this thing, which is smaller than this thing, then the first piece should be smaller than the last one, okay? Does that make sense? So I'm just gonna say that less than, I'll put this in a more positive order. Okay, how are you feeling so far? Okay, has the logic held together at the moment? And importantly, am I any closer towards this goal, this goal, than I was at the beginning? I think I am, right? I mean, the fact that I've used, number one, the inductive hypothesis, and number two, the sort of the hint they gave me that suggests I'm making progress. So the question is, how can I get to the end? How can I prove this thing should be smaller than zero? Hmm. There are two blocks. Any suggestions? Yeah, Mark, do you want to give one? So I'm suggesting this is bigger than this. That's what I'm doing. So hold on, let me think about this, right? I want to prove, I want to show this to be negative, right? So if I've got like A take away B, if the second number, if B is bigger, then the whole thing will be negative. That's good. That's what I want. But at least in my head, that is not obvious. I'm like, how, how do you see that, right? And I mean, it is true. This whole thing is true. But I'm not, it's not clicking for me. And what I want is something which is like, ah, oh, obviously. Okay? So here's what I'm going to do. Here's a bit of a, an unusual step. Okay? I know it doesn't look like it can be factorized, this pair of fractions, but it can. Right, it can. This here is root k plus 1 times root k plus 1. Do you agree? Yeah. So I'm going to take out a factor of 1 on root k plus 1. Now what does that leave me with on the inside? Answer, it leaves me with this. Take away what? Okay, now this is better. This is a lot better. Okay, because by breaking this apart, have a look at this. Tell me what you, can, what you know about the sign of this thing. It must be positive. Okay, so I don't need to worry about him. He doesn't change the sign of this thing. If this is positive, then this is the thing which must be negative, right? Now this is an easy fraction. 
So this needs to be smaller than this. What kinds of fractions are smaller than a half? Any, anything with a denominator bigger than two. Like if this were a three or a four or a five, but I know what k is, right? So now that I've got an idea of where I'm going to go in my head, Here's the way I'm going to set out my logic. And this, this part I'm not 100% pleased with because it's a bit longer than I'd like it to be. But the logic is sound and it's quite easy to follow. So watch. Um, I'm going to say it. But k is greater than n equal to 7. Yep. Now what I want is I want to reach this line or this expression, right? And something that should tell me this is smaller than this. That's what I'm getting to. Okay? So how do I get there? I'm going to add 1 to both sides because there's a k plus 1 over there. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Now, just think for a second. Does that, does that make sense? If I've got a number that's bigger than another number, the square root of your first number will still be bigger. Yeah, do you agree with that? Obviously, assuming everything's positive, uh, which it is. Okay, what else can I do here? How do I get over there? What am I left? I need a reciprocal, don't I, right? So I will take the reciprocal of this and the reciprocal of this. Now, if I told you, for instance, 100, that's bigger than 2. And then I compare their reciprocals. What's happened to the inequality sign? Oh, it's, not, it's, not. it's gone the other way. right? So therefore, this inequality is gone the other way. But what is this number? 1 on root 8. That's 1 on 2 root 2, which is like 2.8. Do you agree? So this is less than a half, right? Yeah? And, and it's, not, it's not equal to, like this is definitely less than, okay? So therefore I can say this guy is definitely less than a half. Does that make sense? You see where I've gone here? And now I only need to do one more thing. I can say, look, one on, I'm going to subtract a half from both sides. Do you see that? Do you see the connection? Right. So I would have that, I mean, my whiteboard is run out of space over here. I would have that as part of my secondary logic. And now at this line I can say, but... That is true. 1 on root k plus 1 minus a half is less than 0. And 1 on root k plus 1 is greater than 0. So the product of a positive number and a negative number is going to be a negative number. Right? Do you see how I'm, I made that logical step? There's been kind of quite a few logical leaps here, but I hope you can see how I did it. That's positive, that's negative, so the whole thing has to be negative, it has to be less than zero. And what have I got on my left hand side here? This guy. Um, almost there. Okay, I have one last line to fit onto this whiteboard, so I'll take my rule out of the way. I'm almost, I'm almost there. What was the result I was trying to prove? Uh, it was this line, wasn't it? Right? So all I need to do is kick this guy back where he belongs. Over on the left hand side, I have the uh, first k plus 1 terms, right? And then I just add root k plus 1 to both sides, and that's what I require. So, um, what's hard about this? There are a number of times we have to look, and the next step is not like, oh, I just simplify. Okay, and that's kind of the thing about inequalities. We have to be able to say this kind of logic, like I've got things that are smaller than things that are smaller than other things, so therefore I kind of connect all these ideas together, and that's why it's extension one, right? Not only that, but you've got to pull in, you've got to understand how do numbers work, right? Like if I've got a negative number and a positive number, what does that mean for my product of those two? 